What is happening, webheads, guys? I'm Mike Spider Slayer, and of course, this is Brayden. This is our grand finale for going to comic book shops for the year. Uh, we're taking vacation in Georgia, and we found that there are quite a bit of shops in Georgia, right? Yeah. I think there's like maybe four or five that we might be going to uh, while we're here on this vacation, and this video will probably be split up into certain parts, but hopefully you will enjoy all the different shops that we will uh, take a look at and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So the first shop that we're gonna stop at It's called Echo Base uh, Obviously in the name from Star Wars and supposedly they have a lot of uh, Comics back issues key issues and they have a lot of like toys Star Wars toys G.I. Joe toys and stuff like that So we're gonna stop there and then we're going to stop at another place. And the place's name is Savannah Comics in Moore. So those are the two places that we'll have a chance to go to today before we got to go to the dance competition. And uh, I think it's got a lot of fun. And then tomorrow we're going to actually go into, I think, three other shops. So we're going to evaluate. We're going to buy. It's going to be a lot of fun. You excited about it? Yep. All right, guys. So we arrived at Echo Base comic books and toys so we're gonna go inside maybe they'll allow us to film and uh we'll see what we get all right guys so we're inside the shop brayden hello <laughs> so we took a look around before we filmed so what did you think so far off of initially it's pretty cool we have like a bunch of like claw machines and arcade things over here yeah so you get to see all that and then we get to see like all the great toys that they have and they buy collections and toys and all kinds of stuff like that. You get to see all these different uh, pop figures in here and then here is a lot of their comics. They have a lot of $10 comics, which is pretty cool. Uh, here is all the DC comics that you get to see. And then on the other side, we get to see all of the Marvel comics that they have here. So a lot of great stuff for very affordable prices. These are all the $5 ones here. You get to see, you know, second appearance of Deadpool here. You got some Nova here. So yeah, pretty cool stuff in these boxes. And then they got your assortments of, you know, obviously you got statues in here. And then there's your manga section. And then over here, they got their key wall. So this is everything with comics that have a significance here. And then this is their key books right here. So all this down the road is all your key books. And then here is that wall right here that I was showing you before. So we're just taking a quick tour all the way around which is super awesome here. So lots of great comics. Here's some more of their toys. Very cool. And then in the shop here, they have Transformers in this case. Cards. Dude, these are Battle Beasts. I used to have these when I was a kid. And then they got He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. And then they got a ton of video game stuff and G.I. Joe. So here's all their video game stuff. Braden like this part, like Braden. That's great. Get game Boys there, all the old Game Boy games. So really awesome shop, have a lot of stuff here to buy. All right, so we just officially left Echo Base Comics and Toys. Overall, now we're out of this uh, shop and no one's in there. What did you think overall, 100%? It was all right. I mean, there was a lot there and it was really cool, but there wasn't really anything special about it. It was just a lot of old stuff. Okay. And it was a lot. It was like a, it was it was cool that they had the stuff. It just seemed a little unorganized. But the people weren't that friendly, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that that was kind of the one thing that was a downfall. Like I was. Asked them a question to film and like, eh, maybe, I guess, I don't know, you know, it was, but they had a lot of cool comics and the comics weren't overwhelming. 
and, and I guess that's the important thing. Action figures, toys and stuff, I felt that was very overwhelming. It was kind of like, they didn't even have space to work. Oh, and one other thing that I forgot to tell you is that this place does not sell new comics. They buy collections, they buy toys, they buy all that stuff. So if you're looking for new comics in Savannah, Georgia, this is not the place to go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but it was okay. But what did we get out of that place? Okay. I think though, in many ways, their books were overpriced. Ex true. Except for the books that we got, the $5, like the $5 and $10 bins. So here's what we got from this place, Echo Basin Comics. So the first one we got was uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 233. So this is the, a book with the tarantula in it. So that one was pretty cool. I thought that one actually looked like it was in really good shape for the price, so that's pretty neat. And then I wound up getting this uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 308. Now this particular book I, I don't have at all. So I think, you know, getting my first copy here with this Todd McFarlane cover, I think is awesome. So there's that one. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. And then we wind up getting this Marvel Chillers featuring Tigra the Werewoman. So I like Tigra as a character and here she is facing against Kraven the Hunter. So that was kind of the reason why I bought this and it says Hunter vs Huntress in the arena of sudden death. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we got this What If comic and this is What If issue number two. I didn't even realize it when I picked it up. And it says, what if the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner? Now that actually happens in Avengers Endgame and all of the future comics uh, when it comes to the Incredible Hulk. So basically, Hulk is smart in this book and this is the first time they experienced that. But this was uh, issue two of what if, got this for five bucks. It is not in you know, a high grade copy. I would say it's like mid, maybe a little bit higher, but it's still a good looking book. And then for the 90s stuff, I wound up getting Gambit vs. Bishop. This is X-Men issue eight. Really bought this one strictly for the cover. Uh, I thought the cover was awesome on this one. So yeah, Rogue is like, no, Gambit. And then, I don't know, man. I haven't seen this in a long time. This is not the best shape either. Uh, because the foil is starting to go bad on it right here on his cannon. But this is War Machine issue one. So I'm assuming this was War Machine's first solo series, if I stand corrected. I was looking for the first appearance of War Machine. Um, and it takes place in that Iron Man book, but it, I don't know. I found this. So for five bucks, that was pretty cool. And then I wound up getting the Spectacular Spider-Man issue 229 I think I could be wrong this is the last issue of the series yeah it says end of an era it's right there uh, but it's cool because it's got this weird looking cover it's like a it's like a see-through cover so if you open it up it's I don't know I think you're just gonna see uh, Scarlet Spider-Man Ben Riley there and without Peter Parker and Mary Jane swinging. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So I wound up getting that. I needed that in the collection. So that one was five bucks. Then I got Secret Wars issue 12, the first Secret Wars. Uh, this one was a $10 book. I thought this one was pretty cool uh, just because I don't have all the Secret Wars. So I was like, yeah, why not, man? Why not pick this one up? So I can slowly pick those up. And then this is a, a, a little bit of a key. Um, probably worth a little bit more if you get it graded but this is the Avengers issue 260 this is the first cover appearance of Nebula I think it is I think that's who it is so I thought that one was pretty neat and uh, paid 10 bucks for it so there you have it there are the books from Echo Base Comics and Toys we're going to head to the other place now. It's only 0.2 miles away, and uh, we'll see what we get from there. All right, Brayden, you ready to go in Savannah Comics and more? Yes. This place was literally, like, I kid you not, a minute away. Not even. It was, like, right across the street. From the research I looked up, I heard that this is more of a traditional comic book store. So we're going to go inside. Hopefully, they'll allow us to take some pictures or film, 
and uh, we'll see what we get out of this place. All right, guys, so we just walked in, and here we can see, like I said, it's just like your traditional shop here. It's got all your newest comics. We got new image titles here, and we also have your new releases. Um, me filming this, this is Tuesday, so they got their new DC comics in. And then here we have more DC over here. And then behind me, we have some of the other comics that came out recently. So you can see there is a ton of trades. Here is all of the back issues. And up top, you can see all the different types of statues in here. So really not a huge store, but man, I tell you, they got a ton of stuff. There is everything that you can think of posters statues trades here we get to see compendiums stuff all the way up top of the walls here we got some short boxes and it just keeps going here are some more back issues over here want to grab a cold drink go for it and then here we go into here you get to see some more trades, more back issues. It just keeps going. And we even got some of the Naughty magazines back here too. So really cool stuff. Look at all the pops. What do you think, Braden? It's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here, man. It's crazy. All right, so we're going to go digging and we're going to see what we find inside. Okay, so I just went into a secret room and there is more comics in here. Look at all these back issues. I mean, you could be diving for days. Holy cow, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I don't even know where to begin. Let's see what I get, guys. All right, so we just got out of Savannah Comics and more and like you guys saw on this video, let me tell you, this place was overwhelming full of stuff right yeah I mean it was cool but at the same time it becomes to a point where there's just so much product that it's not even fun to look through right That's I mean true. it was hard because it was like there were stacks on top of comic book long boxes and short boxes and you had to move things around it was hard to find stuff and there was this they had tons of back issues, but it was always, it was like most of it was all modern stuff. And then there was this one section with the older comics and it took me about an hour to find that because there was so much stuff. But the guy was really nice, you know, gave us a lot of good information and we had fun while we were there. We didn't get that much because like I said, it was so overwhelming. It's just like you could not, you just, oh my God, it drove me crazy. But this is what I got. So. I wound up getting last week's issue was Spawn, and then today the DC Comics came out, and we got the Jurassic League issue two of six. So here's the interior artwork inside, which is a fun story. Um, like I said before, I could see toys of these characters getting ready to come out. So we wound up getting that, and then I wound up getting a book that I have never owned in my life and we were finally searching and searching and searching and finally I wound up getting Spawn issue one. I finally have this in my collection. I've had two forever but not did not have issue one so excited to have that. Didn't go crazy at that place because a lot of the books that they had to just because of everything was everywhere weren't in the best of shape you know so Nevertheless, we saw, we came, we conquered, I guess, and uh, and that's all we found today. So out of the two shops, what did you like so far better? I didn't really like either of them that, that much, but I think the first one was better. Yeah, I think if the first one actually had new comics to buy, it definitely would have been better, right? Yeah. But they did not have new comics. They only sold old stuff. 
but the way they presented the old comics was a lot nicer and a lot more organized and sometimes that goes a long way so when we go on day two we have three shops to find or is it two i think it's two actually i'll double check no it's three planet fun neighborhood comics in savannah and then there's uh um one other place so we have three in downtowns we're going to check out tomorrow so stay tuned for that hopefully you guys enjoyed part one and we'll see you real soon take care guys